It's Beer and Food O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Many, many thanks to Ardbeg. I think it's pronounced Ardbeg. Uh, they sent me a little package in the post. So without further ado, well, I know what it is because I had to open it because it's such a warm day today. Um, I put the beer in the fridge for an hour just to cool it down. I didn't want to review a, a, a room temperature, warm 25 degree kind of smoked porter today. So. I've opened the beer box. Let's get it. Let's bring it out to show you. There's four cans of this here. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's brewed with blue gooder. Yeah, four cans of that. And in the in the bag here we have. And I'm like, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, a bag of Yorkshire crisps, uh, cheddar and caramelised onion chutney, they look good. And a little postcard, which is nice, which I'll use. Oh, and it's, um, they've written on the postcard as well, I'll read that later on. And a little Rococo chocolate sea salt chocolate bar, which we'll get into. Well, it looks very nice. So we'll put that there for a moment. I think what we'll do first is open the beer. So, um, brew gooder. Um, now, as far as I'm concerned, off the top of my head, and I like to do things off the top of my head, um, maybe I should do a little bit of research, but brew gooder um, use water that, when they, when they produce the water, it goes to charities in Africa to help them produce what I'm sure that's what it is but we'll get into all of that in a moment but yeah let's get this ad beg the shorty smoky porter out into a glass and see what we get a bonfire in a can dark and malty chocolate and treacle ad beg the x brugada I haven't got to the ABV yet. I'll get to the ABV now in a moment. I can't imagine it's too much above 5%. 6.2% ABV, wasn't too far off, I don't suppose. Right, so beer in the glass, we got a one to two finger tan colored head, jet black beer in the glass. No light bleeding through the glass whatsoever. Love that head, look as I roll the beer in the glass, look at the condition on that beer. Let's get the aroma. Cool. And you got that. Smokiness. It works in a stout, it works in a porter. I've been to Poland on many occasions and when I went back to Poland in 2017, I think it was 2017, there was a like a year where they were put it they were smoking beers they were smoking pale ales and ipas and 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 all sorts of different beer they were smoking everything and i was like wow oh, i'm gonna be honest i wasn't a fan of it i wasn't a fan of ipas smoked ipas i wasn't a fan of smoked pale ales but in stout and porter it works because of the roasted malt it really is roasty and toasty and yeah it's like sticking your face in a bonfire a cold bonfire, you know, the cold ashes, doing that type of thing in it. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That's nice. That's nice. Um, the important th thing for me, my palate, is that it's not too smoky, it's not overly smoked. You get the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel, um, you get a lot of the roasted malts in the beer, and then you get a touch. Well, it's a little bit more than a touch, but you get you get a nice balance with the ad beg smoked, I think it's a smoked whiskey. And um, the porter, it mixes very, very well. I had a beer once, 
Oh. They, they must have. Uh, the head brewer admitted it to me. They brewed the beer at five percent ABV, and they barrel aged it um, in fresh whiskey barrels, and they got it up to eight percent ABV. So um, three percent of that liquid was um, whiskey. I think it was um, one of the famous ones, like Jack Daniels or something, and it was. The beer at 5% was way too thin, really, really thin beer. Um, and it was just really, really whiskey-like and way too much. It was it was more whiskey than beer. And ever since then, ever since I see these, ever since I get sent this style of beer or these, these, these whiskey-infused beer, always in the back of my mind, I've got that little fear thinking, is it gonna be too much whiskey? But the balance on this is absolutely perfect. It really is nice and balanced. Chocolate coffee caramel. Look at the carbonation. I rock the beer back and forth. You can see the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. So a really nice body to the beer as well. Absolutely fantastic. Should we see then? All's well that ends well. Um, here in Isley, um, it's safe to say we all dig our bag. None more so than our loyal canine mascot shorty so when the opportunity arose to try our hand at digging something both charitable and palatable shorty included we leapt to the chance the shorty is a well digging life-saving smoky pause that has been crafted using the same malt we use to create our whiskey toasted and smoky we then fired it over to williams brothers brewing co in aloha to be mashed brewed and canned right okay that is that is really cool um, at Brugada, we're on a mission to end water poverty for one million people through power of beer. To get there, we are asking a little help from our friends. So yeah, it is water poverty. I thought it was. Um, well done to Brugada for, for that and well done to Ardbeg for that. For, for being great with their malt and sending it over to Williams Brothers for this collaboration. I don't know whether to open the crisps first or the... I'm going to open the chocolate bar. Rococo chocolate, sea salt. Organic, 65% cocoa, dark chocolate. Wow! This is going to be really full on. I don't think I've ever had dark chocolate this strong before. But maybe, maybe it's all about... Oh, yeah, look at that. Maybe it's all about the chocolate and the beer. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's really nice. I love the bitterness. Oh! Mmm. That just rocks your senses all over the place. Oh. It's almost crunchy dark chocolate. In a way, like a normal milk chocolate. I, I eat a lot of milk chocolate. Milk chocolate like melts and fills your mouth with cream and And it's really kind of like, yeah, just creamy in the mouth, isn't it? That is, there's a little bit of creaminess going on. It's almost, um, you can almost feel how brittle the chocolate is in your mouth. And then the, the, the bitterness from the chocolate comes in. And it's wonderful. It really is wonderful. But mixing that with a smoked porter, unbelievable. Absolutely wonderful. Yorkshire crisps then. Cheddar and caramelised onion chutney. 40 grams! That's what we're talking about. Do you know, remember the day when crisps used to be 40 grams? I bang on about this all of the time. The grammage in crisps is so important. I hope there's a reckoning in the crisps market. Like there was in the beer market when we were just told to buy 
Fosters or Budweiser and everybody uh, and there were certain people going no actually I don't want to just buy Budweiser or Fosters or Carlin I want something decent to drink so the craft brewers arose I'm hoping that there's a crisp revolution around the corner in the UK I really am hoping because the big guns they're just one big gun now and they're left in the UK walkers they keep dropping their grammage on their crisps charging the same price the bags of crisps are reckon in 10 years time from walkers are going to be like postage stamps it's ridiculous mm. I remember crisps <coughs> I remember crisps like this when I was a kid Proper, full on flavour. I can get that cheddar, caramelised onion. I can get the chutney. It's all there. Mm. As a kid growing up in Wales, we had dragon crisps. Mmm. And this is, this would be great. This would be great. I'm, I'm gonna back, I'm gonna back Yorkshire crisps to the hilt. And another, I had a packet of crisps from a Kent company last year, which were, they were just as incredible. Mm. So let the crisp revolution begin. These are the most amazing, tasty cheese and onion crisps I've had in ages. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you very much to so the guys at Ardbeg who sent me the dark chocolate, which is nice, but I'm more of a savoury person, as you can tell, me standing here eating a bag of crisps. Mm. Thank you for sending this, these, these products over. I'm really pleased to get local crisps, local chocolate, local beer. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you could argue. You could argue that walkers are brewed, uh, are brewed, walkers are produced in Leicester. But it doesn't feel like a local company anymore. And they certainly don't taste like this. And they certainly don't put them in 40 gram bags. I think we did have a bit of a crisp revolution. With the kettle chips and birds had a go, didn't they? Birds crisps, but I'm talking I'm talking about a company that can Put a pack of these together in a multi-pack and charge a reasonable price because although I love the ridge cuts and the birds crisps and the cattle chips they're generally sold in big bags and I just want a little snack bag that Reminds me of my childhood, how crisps used to be, but well, them stupidly small 25 gram bags. Right, I've rambled and rumbled and, and, and we'll have a bit more chocolate. And banged on enough about all this um, chocolate and crisps and beer. Um, it's all been fantastic. 
I've had a nice lunch today. Chocolate crisps and beer. That chocolate is incredible. I've never had anything quite like it. The cocoa, everything, oh, just brilliant. First and foremost, the beer. The Shorty Smoky Porter. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. Goes amazingly with the crisps, goes amazingly with the chocolate. And um, this has been one of the best beer lunches that I've had on the channel. Not, a, not too much whiskey, not too much smoke in the beer. A pleasant, a pleasant balance between the roasted malt in the beer and 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 the the, the whiskey malt that's been put in from the from the whiskey into the beer it's really good it's been really well thought through um the balance is perfect it's got a nice mouth feel so the beer for me gets a nine out of ten nine out of ten from real craft beer the chocolate well London Luxury, established in 1983. Ah, oh, right, okay, they're a little London company. Whoa, wow, wow. Rococo chocolates. That is beyond good. That's that's probably the, one of the best chocolate bars I've ever eaten. And I'm a Galaxy man. Normally, I'm I'm, I'm I get me two Galaxy bars and a and a nice stout, and and I'll sit there. I'll eat the two bars of Galaxy, no problem. But I would prefer that. Even though you probably couldn't eat the whole bar, which is probably a good thing, I prefer that Rococo chocolate over a bar of Galaxy any day. And Galaxy is my favourite chocolate. And as for the crisps, well, <clears throat> that just took me back to how crisps should be. How crisps, not these stupid 25 gram bags of crisps, and, and not like half flavour. They were full on cheese. Caramelised onion, chutney, proper flavours coming through. Crunchy, crispy, beautiful crisps. And plenty of them. Plenty of them. So the crisps also get a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!